Today, I'm going to walk you through how you can set up your own brand and templates in Adobe Spark Post. So stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your own story. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are a returning guest, thanks for stopping by once again. Sharing your story on social media, whether you are a large business, small business, entrepreneur, kind of independent, very important to have a consistency to your look. Well, today I'm going to walk you through how you can set up your own brands and templates in Adobe Spark Post. So let's go ahead and jump right in. To set up all of your brands, you want to head over to spark.adobe.com as I have opened up here and you'll see the menu on the left, it shows brands. So I'm going to go ahead and tap there. So you can see I've got several brands already created. I actually have my personal brand here, got some work stuff that I do and just kind of a a demo brand that I created here. Now, in order to create these brands, you do have to have the full subscription to Adobe Spark. I have a link in the description below where you can sign up and get 20% off in order to, again, upgrade and create these brands. So let's go ahead and start here and create a brand. I'm going to click on that button and voila, we're going to be in the section where we can add our brand. Now, what you'll see on the right hand side are kind of demos of what your brand would look like on different size uh, graphics and images. So the first thing you want to do is start with uploading your logo. So one of the things I recommend when you are creating a logo is to have it as I like the, the PNG format because you can have kind of the uh, transparent background unless your logo is a solid color background. Otherwise, um, I like choosing this style. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that logo here. You can add additional uh, representations of your logo a little bit later, but we'll start with this one here. So I've got this cool logo and then I'm going to choose here where it says pick color. Now, if your brand, if you have the actual um, numbers, the hex numbers for your logo, you could go ahead and enter them here. I'm just going to go and choose some random color here and let's go through the colors and maybe go with kind of a reddish burgundy look here. We'll see how that looks like and I'll click save. And if you notice now all those templates, those graphics there will kind of change depending on your brand color. Now, the next thing I'll do here is choose a font and you can choose from different ones that are packaged kind of with Adobe Spark. Now, if you have your own, you want to make sure you have a license to use it. So I'm going to choose my own font. I have one that I actually purchased and I'll click here, choose. And you're going to be asked here, that you want to make sure that you have that uh, the necessary license to use this, which I do. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and then continue. And now my brand font is added to my brand here in Adobe Spark. As you can see there, it kind of rotates. Now I'll go ahead and click on next and name my brand. So I'm going to call this demo brand because I'm going to go ahead and delete it after my video here. In the next window, you'll actually have the option to add additional logos, kind of like alternate versions of your logos if you do have them and secondary fonts and colors. So I'm going to go ahead and add a secondary logo here, which I do have. Let's go with, I have the uh, opposite version. So I have white on black and then I'll have black on white. And let's go ahead and close that. And then you can add additional colors here if you want as well. Let's do more colors. Maybe uh, let's add, you know, my logo also has kind of a bluish color here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then you can add a secondary font. Now, right now, Spark kind of uses AI and chooses kind of one that will go with your font. But if you want a different one, you can go ahead and choose a different one. So let's say I'll choose out of this uh, Museo slab version here. Make sure you want to replace, it's gonna replace all the fonts for all your themes. So this is important. Now you're creating a brand, not only for your Spark Post projects, but your Adobe Spark page and your Adobe Spark video. So when you do this, it's gonna replace all of this. So just be aware of that. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to affect all of your Adobe Spark products, page, post, and video. I'm going to scroll down. I'll skip this for now here. We'll come back to that. Just to show you here, you have 
your page theme and your video theme, which is taking on the colors. You'll have access to the generic Spark video and page themes and fonts, but this is setting up your brand for those projects as well. You can also add additional ones here by clicking on the plus sign and kind of alternate the colors. Uh, that may be done in another video. And then down here at the bottom, you can actually set up your tagline, how your brand will look like. So let's go ahead and for example, let's click on, let's see, this is an outro to your videos. Like or here's the logo. I can go ahead here and change the way it says here. Let's see, visit cool logo.com. So like a call to action at the end of your video there and then click done. So whenever you create a Spark video, let me scroll down, your outro will have that logo as well as that call to action. So you can edit all those different ones however you want. So now my next step here is to create a brand template, something that I can use as a starting point to kind of help me do things quicker and faster, especially if I'm posting on social media. As you can see here, it's showing how your brand looks like with this type of graphic. So let's go ahead and create our own brand template. So let's click on that plus sign. So now let's edit this template for, let's say an Instagram story. So let's choose Instagram story here. I've got my logo there already. I'm going to fill this with an image that I'll use as a placeholder because most likely I'll swap it out with one of my uh, photos. I'll go ahead and use this typewriter one and pin it to the background. Okay, cool. I've got it kind of set up here. And now I'll add some template text here. So let's go ahead and choose the plus sign and go to text, add my text here. And let's say, uh, this is my story template and click on done. And again, it's using my template colors. Let me adjust that here. And Let's say I want to swap out the colors here. So let's see, here's some of my brand colors. Let's try that one there, swap it out. Maybe do that one. So again, it just depends on what you want to do. And then again, if you don't like it, you could always go here and even make some adjustments to color. Let's see how that looks like. Maybe swap it out. Kind of like that right there. Um. Let's see, let's do one more. Let's go with that one there. So now I've got this set up for my template. So now what I'll do is up here where it says my template, let's call this uh, IG story template. And then I'll click save. So now I've got a starting point template to use for uh, any story I want to tell on Instagram. So this is kind of a template. Again, I can click there and use it again as a starting point. So now what I'll do is click here, click create and make adjustments here. As you can see here at the top, I've got my demo brand selected. I can go here and choose a different picture. So let's say replace. Uh, let's say we're going to go with this one here and my logo looks a little dark here. So what I'll do is kind of swap that out and add the opposite logo. So now it's a little easier to see. I can download this as a PNG. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, this is kind of a IG new. Let's, that's what that one's going to be called. So now this one again, it won't affect the template. So let's go ahead and go back to our brands. First of all, as you can see here is the new project. So let's go back to brands and let's choose the brand. And there we go. So now I have a starting point. So what I can go ahead and do here is create several templates that I can use, you know, so this is the IG story template. I can go create um, one of my feed uh, templates with the square format, the four or five you can create for Twitter all different manner of templates. And that's how you can add your own brand and templates in Adobe Spark. I hope this video was helpful, something that you can use as you share your own story, as you build your own brand. Let me know if you have any questions or comments by 
adding it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks again for watching this video, and until next time, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.